What is up, my people, and happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're having a wonderful time with loved ones, and thank you for taking a break with us to check out night two of our three-night extravaganza at the new Bay City Speedway. My name is Daryl, and I'll be your host. In association with Polo Racing, as well as Gravity Throttle Racing, and sponsored by Rust Bell Customs, this is the Ultimate Evos Tournament. Tonight we see group two of the semifinals with the top two in points advancing to tomorrow night's eight lap finals. Let's meet him again. Our number two seed driving for Blue Line Racing, it's Champagne Poppy. Next up, driving for Iceman Racing, this is Iceman. One of the track hosts for this tournament, driving for Gravity Throttle Racing, it's Speedball Herman. And finally, driving for Cloaked After Dark, it's Benny Blanco. Here we go, folks. Night two begins. Champagne Poppy on the pole next to Iceman. Speedball Herman and Benny Blanco in the rear. Two more drivers going home tonight, and we are underway. Champagne Poppy with an early lead out of the dual 90 and through the Napa Valley. Champagne Poppy flying up and around Hoyt Hill. Speedball Herman into second at the merge. Across the Bay City Bridge, and the cameraman can't even keep up with Champagne Poppy as he's already into downtown. Speedball Herman a distant second across the Bay City. Iceman even distance here. Across for third, and here comes Vinny Blanco in reverse to round out lap one. Champagne Poppy across with a new track record of 8.23. That surpasses Giorgio with G-Force Diecast Racing, who as we know at the time had an 8.31 in round one of the top three turvy. It was only a matter of time, folks, for Poppy to get a clean enough run to flirt with that mark. So congratulations, Blue Line Racing, for holding a track record at yet another venue. Let's take another look at that record-setting run. Well, as much as the cameraman was able to capture, at least. And I need to tell you guys, the stationary cameras seem to have a mind of their own in this tournament. So any footage I did have, I used. I do wish we had alternate views of this run, but it is what it is. Congrats again to Champagne Poppy. And let's not forget, we have a race going on here. Back up top lap two, Iceman slides to the pole and welcomes Vinny Blanco to the front. Champagne Poppy back there with Speedball Herman. And there's the green. Iceman first out of the 90 and leads us to the crossover. Poppy on him like ants on a soda I just sat down. Up and around Coit Hill, Iceman opens up a three car lead on the bridge. But here comes Champagne Poppy. Into downtown and he's on the rail but saves it. Across the base and Iceman will hold off a charging Champagne Poppy to win lap two. Vinny Blanco across and that looks like about it and no sign of Speedball Herman as we see Iceman's sub nine track time of 8.62. And unfortunately, here's where we lost Speedball Herman. Again, we lost the stationary cams for a few of these races, so unfortunately, we'll never know what happened to Herman. But props to Iceman for holding off a charging Champagne Poppy the entire lap. That's a fast car too, obviously, because it's here for a reason. Here we go, lap three. Champagne Poppy clinging to a one-point lead. Vinny Blanco takes his turn on the pole next to Speedball Herman. Iceman and Poppy in the rear. Gate drops were racing. Vinny Blanco with the early lead with Speedball Herman to his left. Champagne Poppy jumps right on his coattails and they'll take us to the top of the hill. Blanco into third at the merge. Down to the Bay City Bridge and here they come. Around the palace and into downtown. Speedball Herman doing all he can to stave off Champagne Poppy and will hold on at the line by a car length to take the lap three victory. Poppy across for second, Blanco in for third, and Iceman closes us out. With only three points through two races, Benny Blanco was definitely looking at this lap as his chance to get back in this race. And things look great until the bridge when the outside lanes of Herman and Champagne Poppy made their move. Once they hit the Bay City Bridge and Herman had a rear view full of blue line, he was looking over his shoulder the rest of the lap, but he was able to white knuckle at home. Well done, Speedball Herman. We'll head back up for our final lap four. Champagne Poppy on that outside front row is guaranteed at least a tie for second. Speedball Herman on the pole with the best chance to also advance, but watch out for Iceman and Blanco, who still have a shot. And there they go. One last time out of the Spoolheads 90 and into wine country. Across the bridge, Iceman into second, but Poppy's on the rail. Iceman into the back of him. Herman goes by, Blanco goes by. Herman off the Bay City Bridge and towards the Painted Ladies. And here comes Champagne Poppy into the back of Blanco. 
Into downtown, Poppy on the outside of Blanco. Blanco breaks free and Speedball Herman captures lap four just ahead of a charging Blanco and Champagne Poppy. Iceman across for fourth and a 9.45 track time for Speedball Herman. And what an overall effort from all four of these drivers here tonight, folks. As we take a look at our final replay while the judges tally the score, Champagne Poppy again, another one whose speed can be their detriment, comes right out of his lane and becomes a sitting duck. Luckily for him, Iceman gets him back on track and we're underway. Poppy wasted no time catching back up with Speedball Herman who's all over the track at this point. Poppy with one last effort on the outside of Blanco, but it would not be enough to overtake. All right, folks, let's take a look at our final scores. And with 12 points, Champagne Poppy wins the group and we'll move on along with Speedball Herman, who despite that DNF was able to capture the next two laps and earn his way to tomorrow night. Special thanks to Iceman from Iceman Racing and to Benny Blanco from Cloaked After Dark. We'll see you guys at the next one. Okay, folks, our finals are set. Make sure you set your reminders for tomorrow night because you will not want to miss our four car, eight lap finale. Who's your favorite to win it? Will it be Flip Gambino, Champagne Poppy, Speedball Herman, or Puff. My name is Daryl, and I've been your host. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night.